previously on the coffin of Andy and Lele. Okay. Oh, we can have a look at the bed. I wish I didn't. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. My lord, you've come! And you're, uh... A, a little smaller than I imagined. Though, I mean... Is it still illegal if we didn't kill this guy? No, oh, you want to eat him! You fry some meat. Can we, like, give the dude an egg? Can we get... Uh... Jeremy. You fry up some Jeremy. Ooh. Ashley? Are you awake? I am now. Okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate Jeremy. What else are we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Ah, uh, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I... I... We wouldn't have had to admit it that we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What... what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absorbed all of your sins, and you never took a bite now. You're welcome. Uh, well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. I fought the law, and Jeremy tasted bad. Listen, who cares? Garon! Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like Bear Grylls <laughs> when he eats his cameraman? <laughs> like, we can't even be excused. It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in here for months and then they won't even feed us? And cabin fever is a real thing. Maybe we can plead insanity? I don't know, Ashley. Sigh. There, there, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper, so I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I just kind of... Uh, like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some plant, I don't know, like Lego when they get really stuck and you kind of put it in your mouth and you just... I can't, I keep thinking about it. Ugh, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley, it's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know, I compartmentalize. I know, like, we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley. <laughs> Andrew. What is it, Andrew? Andrew. Andrew. Andy. I? I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wow, wow, mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Make me, you little bitch. Forget this. Hey, Andy. Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lele's quest for something or other. Remember? Why, Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I... I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation? Then we can unpack it all later? Or not? I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. 
Like I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. <laughs> All right, it's just a thought. Let's get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to just keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They'd throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house, or getting railed in a prison. Okay. Put that image in my head now. Ooh. Really in there. <laughs> ah, so you don't want to escape. Not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our, of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. Oh my god, I don't love you that much. There's a, there's an uncom <laughs> there's a very uncomfortable amount of flirting between brother and sister. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. Honestly, me. <laughs> like, just reading this. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> At least someone laughs at my jokes. Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients from Jeremy, and you're feeling mighty better today. And Andy is already gone, and there is a posty note. <clears throat> There's a note stuck to the door. It reads, Awaiting thy arrival back at the cultist's lair, Andy. Ah, I knew he'd come around. Though for a moment there, I honestly thought that this was going to be a suicide note. <laughs> well, no matter. Let's go see what he's up to. Check up on Jeremy. How you doing in there, Jeremy? <laughs> the cultist's liar. Hello, Andy. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm just looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. What was his name again? Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point where he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business with them as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one of them to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think it's our best bet for now. So what will we ask for it? From it. Uh, I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? Hmm. Well, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Just my brother's bulge through the fucking pantaloons that you are wearing. Because I have a feeling this is going to go fucking skirt and go straight up the road to incest. Ashley? What? I wouldn't... Thought about it. I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set up the ritual for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by you can start by replacing the candles for now. Ooh, much reading. My lips are parched. I need some agua. Just replace the candles on the floor for now. Okay. Where does one find candles? Got two candles. Well, I need three. I see another one already. Never mind. I take it. Replaced candle. Got one candle. Replaced candle. Done. What now? Now we. The. Uh, still alive and kicking, are you? <laughs> You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Ah. Uh, uh. 
Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. That weirdo one. I think he's croaked, but he's just a B-type anyway. Fine. I'll check it out after my round. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we had to do? Was to get the door to open, just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough. Go store him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing at. No. Go, before he notices we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. And then maybe he'll assume the guy just jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Moppy moppy into the- No. 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 She is not feeling the feces. Get the mop, you dumb bastard. Okay. I am on me way. You've got this, Andy. I believe in you. Got a mop. I don't want to see what you're saying to me, Andy. No, no, listen. It'll be a trade. I told you I'm not interested. I've got some good books in here. I'm sure you'd like to read them while you jack off. I, I thought you said it was fine literature. Oh, yeah, it's real fine. Like how? You'll have to see for yourself. I'll trade one book for a pack of noodles. We'll exchange them via the mail slot. But maybe it's a genre I don't like. Like fairy porn. Or another abstract genre of pornography. Uh, I couldn't think of one. Something about reading a sample. <laughs> like hell I will. Did you want me to get you in character too? I don't want to go into this blind. Who knows what kind of crap you're reading? It's just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Actually, I think each book is worth at least one of those multi-packs at least. Why is it that you're always such a problem? One book for one pack of noodles. One ten pack. Push them in one by one and you'll get the book. Listen here, you. I'm not the one holding all the cards here, so I decide what... The pointless negotiations go on and on. Time to go mop up with some blood. Sweep, 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 Ashley, the warden is coming. You hid in the closet successfully. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Oh, great. Another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, same, Ashley. Actually, same. Uh... Mm -hmm. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him that this is none of your fault. Come on then, Lele. Let's go play. Sheesh. I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. Actually killed a man. Like, directly. Not just over 4chan. Offensive comments. Yep. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, well, I'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I. Oh, looky here. Got a key to room 405. Didn't we already unscrew the lock, so it's useless? Also, surely that door... That door right there that the warden just came through, surely that shit is unlocked. At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley, 
Huh? I just want to make sure that we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? But what do you think was going to happen if I didn't? Look, I'm not saying that I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is, no matter what happens, beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down in here. To anyone. Well, yeah. Obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear whilst we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to go find mum and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I, I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I... Okay. So you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? You think that'll snitch on us to the authorities? Is that it? Yes! Exactly. Yeah, fine. Whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about it, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you... Think of yourself as impervious. I think he needs some fucking reading spectacles because you can't fucking read. I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, it's... I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, finally. Though, so Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mum or dad, or any of my so-called friends anymore. None of them even felt it necessary to even answer my calls, or come fling food up to our balcony. Would have been quite a feat to throw something that high. The point is, no one even came to try, so my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. <laughs> But it's alright because Andy is here with me, even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Mm, sorry. I guess I got lost. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Fucking me too reading this shit. Holy shit, that just fucking pew, pew, pew. Can't lose what you don't have. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's get the hell out of here already. Ooh, we actually get- Oh, our doormat says fuck off. How pleasant. Another note on the door reads, 2X, 2XA1XB. Note on the door reads, 1XO, but it's crossed over. Are there a number of inhabitants? <clears throat> oh, another key? Got a key to room 302. Another key on the desk. Lucky we've got ourselves a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, it looks like it's recording the second floor. Hmm, let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope, he only had a key to the cultist's room and a walkie-talkie. Ah, sigh. Le sigh. You think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably just work in pairs of two. It's not like they have anything to do other than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. On the fourth floor key. Half-eaten cup of noodles. A note on the fridge reads, Notice, from now on, AB types won't be given any supplies except if it's someone important. 
And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. Are there blood types on the on the uh, doors? It's the toilet. There's nothing of interest inside. What about a stinky shit? I'm gonna stuff that in my inventory. <laughs> um. So these are uh, blood types. The elevator is out of order, because of course it is. Makes sense. Go to third floor, second floor, or third floor cancel. Oh, well, I guess we can only go to the third one. Um, northern door reads one X A, but it's crossed over, so dead. Oh, hello. Hey, hold up! Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out! Well, we found the keys and we thought that you might want to get out of here. Well, you thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All I gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley! Fuck you. Get out, both of you. I think it is a couple. It must be the old, uh, you know. The, a nail gun. Yeah, it must be the old, uh, you know, Amsterdam glory hole. Just sticks it through the mailbox. Her dad's on the other side. Hey, when did I give you permission to go in there? Okay, well, fucking keep it between you. The fridge is full of food. Oh, my kitty cat just woke up. Get ready for copious amounts of yelling. What are you watching? Leave before I make a scene. I just want to know what you're watching, bitch. Damn. Well, that was something. Yeah, there's the yelling right on cue. I'll be right back. How come we get such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Yes, you're not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? She was pretty fucking hot. As far as 2D drawings go, <laughs> I'd get her paper cut for that bitch. Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? <laughs> Probably not. You can go in there swinging with your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second floor warden comes in and shoots us. Ugh. This is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist's room, we've got a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house? Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. That's my sister. Note on the door reads, two times B. FBI, open up! Nope, not happening. Oh, okay, so... Finish setting up the ritual. Go to the fourth floor. La -da -dee, la -da -doo, la -da -da. Um, you double check to see if the warden also has a gun tucked away somewhere, but all you find is the walkie talkie. Useless. I don't know. At least if we hear the other warden tries to contact this one, which indicates time is running out for us. Big deal. At that point, we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this? And we'll have a demon eat their soul. That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds, one stone. Though he'll come in guns a-blazing. Oh, right. Ugh, let me think. Got walkie-talkie. Well, while you're at it, I'm ready- I'll, I'll ready the ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Go check the guidebook. So what's needed to finish this ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. 
They seem to work. Just dip my fingers into your little holes. That sounds fucking really strange. You dip your digits in one of the warden's wounds. Got blood. Boink. 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 I have an idea. Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are you going to do... How are you going to make her do that? You know how. <laughs> Alright then, let's go convince her. Or is there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden's on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Okie dokie. Back down to the MILF on the third floor. What are these noises I'm hearing? Oh, the fucking washing up the dishes at Nando's. Hello again, lady. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me. Do do do. Bro, she's ready for Spider-Man, and bro, she's ready. She's about to zip out of this bitch. What's going to happen now is that you're going to coo into this walkie-talkie. Uh-huh. Uh Tell him that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I, I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please. I'll do anything. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. <laughs> Hello? Ah, uh, who's there? Hi! Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> oh shit, I'm already rock hard and I can barely walk. The blood's left my head and I can't make it up the stairs. And you know the elevator's out. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time. <laughs> you know, up. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um. <laughs> Nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. Don't get started with that. Conversation cut there. Alright, good. Let's go. I let go of her now. And what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. Hmm. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Lele, catch. Andrew throws you something. It's the cleaver. <laughs> Got a lighter. You hurry back to finish the ritual. Okay, I'll light this bitch. And then uh, light this bitch. And then light this bitch. And then put on some bumping tunes. Yes, please. So what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> ah, something is here. Who are you? I can't see. Are you asking my name, human? Uh, what do you offer? Uh, yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? And I'm not doing this with the kind of music. Let's... Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, uh, him! I offer him! What the? Ah! Did I peek? I didn't peek. We're good. <laughs> uh, so, uh, well... Uh, how is it? Human with tar colored soul, I give you this. Got an unidentifiable small object. A USO! <laughs> Hold it for occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. <laughs> Thank you! Little crazy demon boy with three eyes and no body and just a cloud of mist. The entity is left, and you are still alive unlike the other warden. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't even get its name, nor to ask it for a favor. 
it just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in, it, in its demon pocket. Demon pocket just sounds like slang for a fucking vagina. Or it doesn't. Maybe I'm just fucked up. Who knows? I've been on the internet. I've been on the internet way too long. <laughs> but no matter. The warden is dead, and I still have one clairvoyant dream. Hmm, that'll be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a vicious, vis vis viscous, viscous, viscous. Is apparently a viscous black mess. I guess you already knew that. Can I go into the poop? Nope, no, I can't go into the poop. Well, I'll have your gun, Mister. Got the second well, gun and the key. Okay, I was gonna say, at last, time to shoot Andy. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady though. There. Fair and true and valid and fair. Uh. Oh. Oh, Andy. <laughs> oh no. You're starting to get a kill streak. You've already. You're so close to a UAV. Sadly, your plans of slattering the lady's brains on the wall have already been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. Uh, what happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while, and I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. Well, for her, anyway. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that for no reason. What are you getting at? I mean, you did say she was pretty. Ugh, uh. I didn't try anything with her, okay? Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I'm, I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah? I'm not celibate, what's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some ditch. Some ditch? <laughs> you get to dip your dick in some bitch, and then the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yes it is, cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. My priority should be getting a muzzle just drilled into my cat's mouth and just mwah. Oh. Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No! Shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah. All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here, where I can't as much t as take a piss without you knowing. And I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where did that come from? I... Fuck. What a prime example of you. You. Just you. <laughs> you would. You would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. Just for you. You know? Just the thing for that. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call, cool, just like it was back when- 
What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want, then? Well, see, if you had listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. Then why aren't we friends anymore? Ugh, of course we are. Just forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You made... You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock... Blank... In that crate. Where the fucking cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep on that, Andy. My poor Andy. So, that just came out of your mouth? <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me. You backpedaling fuck of a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. I... So I guess we're not leaving here together then. You can't do it. <laughs> you won't. You can't because I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that. When you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like Blank did. Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you! Can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah. So I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Uh, yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though if you plan on ditching me, then fuck you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Hmm. <laughs> I don't... give a shit about Blank. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us. So what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> That's right. Our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Lele, like you wouldn't believe. Huh? You better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Hmm, fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. <laughs> Nonsense, I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor, and I've also got the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later? <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. Aww. It's bonding, I think. <laughs> How cute. Now, this game doesn't, like, doesn't skip a beat. It's just, it's just fucking... 
like that cat, it just doesn't fucking put the brakes on or stop ever, does it? Second floor. Oh, surveillance camera. We kind of want to stay off of that, right? Haha, <laughs> look, an open window. Great. Jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You don't really want to take your chances with that. Damn it, isn't there a rope or something we can use to climb down? What about this big rug? Can we just grab the rug and just like pull it? What if we climb the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it though. You hold it while I descend. Oh yeah, and then I'll just jump into your arms once you're down? Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Oh no, I won't. We've got to set something up to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's just leave it by the window for now. Got the carpet. Oh, fuck. What can we use to do that with? Um, the elevator is out of order. So I'm assuming we don't want to go on the camera, right? Oh, no, it doesn't fucking matter. We don't give a shit. Put our faces all over the news. Nothing. 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 We're gonna have to drag something from upstairs. Misa thinks we're gonna have to drag something from the upstairs. Go to the third floor. Let's see what this lady's got. We take some of the planks. Looks like someone gave up assembling their furniture. Got the nail gun. Oh, um, I mean, cut, uh, would that work? I feel like that would rip the carpet. I feel like you would just end up tearing the carpet up doing that. But hey, if the game says yes, we'll do it. The two of you use the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. It doesn't look safe. There has got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet will slow my descent down. I mean, I guess. Ah, all right, you first then. Damn right first. I'm a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Oh, we did. It did work. We have escaped. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town and then we'll find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. Then we'll steal someone's identity. Something that can... Or something that can continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? So we just... We, we, we found Jeremy dead by an demon. We cut him into several little baby pieces. And then all we did was eat his arm. <laughs> and then we were like, oh, actually, let's just summon the demon to do all of our dirty business so we can leave. Poor Jeremy. I feel like Jeremy is just royally fucked over. And then as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll have a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town in the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. And I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. I, even then, I don't think that's going to, shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll work out lest we'll live under a bridge or something like trolls and we'll eat those who don't play the toll to cross. <laughs> You want to get into that boy's soul, you gotta pay the troll toll. Um. Oh, I was going to say something, but now I'm just thinking of always sunny in Philadelphia. Fuck. I have lost my train of thought. How can you laugh? Is there anything funny about this? I don't know what he said, I just made it up. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask, how old are these two? That so they got left in, like, an apartment by themselves. I'm guessing, like, late teens, young adult? I don't know, though. Ashley. I don't know if I said their name for the first time. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there, too. And otherwise? I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? 
Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll be sleeping with my eyes open. But that also means you can't leave me now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Hmm? Stuck. Huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. <laughs> you get on a bus and drive the hell out of here. Vroom vroom, motherfucker. End of episode one. Ooh, we did it. Ooh, good. I want to save or something? No, fuck you. <laughs> I think I'll save. Holy shit. Damn, an hour and 40 minutes of straight reading. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. 